What's up Huskies, it's Clayton the Gamer here bringing you guys episode 13 of Swarm Sunday. This is the series where I bring you guys a new Swarm gameplay for every Sunday and today's gameplay is a 70 and 9, or 70 and 8 sorry, demolition game on the new map Grind for PS3 and PC users if you bought the map pack. Of course this map has been out on, or the map pack has been out for Xbox for about a month now and you guys have already seen all these gameplays. Although when I first got the map pack, I did not know all the maps and everything because I hadn't been watching too many gameplays on YouTube of the map pack. Uh, to be honest, I've only been watching some Die Rise gameplay, which I still kind of suck at. Die Rise is freaking hard. And I did play some Turned, the new game mode on uh, Diner or whatever the map is for zombies. I did pretty good at that. I haven't lost the game yet. I'm 5-0 and right now, and I'm ranked like somewhere in the thousands in the world, which isn't that bad. And uh, Die Rise, my highest round is like 15 or something like that. Probably lower than that. But anyways, getting into the game, uh, 70 and 8, I dropped a swarm. I almost got a double swarm in the end there, but I, then, I ended up dying uh, after I got my second load start. The second load start even sucked, so I don't think the swarm would have done anything anyways. But anyways, I'm using the PDW. Peacekeeper, uh, forget that gun. Everyone says it sucks. I think it's good though. I've been using it for a while, although I just think that if you're going to play the map pack and the gun that comes with the map pack isn't as good as the other guns that are already in the game, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by using that gun. You might as well use the PDW or something stronger as far as SMGs go. Uh, the Peacekeeper is a bit weak in damage and whatnot, so if you put a silencer on it, it just sucks even more. That's why I'm running with the, peace, uh, the PDW silencer, not the Peacekeeper. Uh, and yeah, if you want to run around stealthy stealthily and stuff i would advise you not to use the peacekeeper silence just because the damage goes really really low if you do that and it's already a pretty low damage gun although other than that if you just run with like fast mags i think it's a pretty good gun that's my attachment that i use with it just fast mag eventually i will drop a swarm with it and then you guys will see just how good i do with it although for now i haven't really got any good gameplays with it i have done a bit a bit good here and there but uh it's been a bit inconsistent for me to be honest, this is actually one of the first map packs that I've actually enjoyed as far as any Call of Duty games have been. I think the only other map pack that I've ever liked were the World at War ones just because they came with zombie maps. And I didn't really even play online, so I can't really uh, say anything about the online maps. Um, but yeah, this is probably the only map pack with the exception of one map, that being Hydro. I freaking hate Hydro. If you like Hydro, I don't know how you play that map. I think it's a piece of crap. Anyways, we're going to get into the next topic of today's game uh, video, as you can see in the title. Today's topics are the first one, PS4 Cross Game Chat is now confirmed. If you don't know what Cross Game Chat is, you've been living under a rock. Basically, Xbox already has it. It just allows you to play one game and talk to someone else who's not playing the same game as you by joining up into a party chat together. I think it's a really cool concept, idea, feature that the Xbox has, whatever you want to call it. And I'm so happy that it's finally coming to a PlayStation console. I can't tell you how long I've been like telling my friends I wish they had cross game chat on PS3. And we haven't been getting it, but finally, I guess this is uh, better late than never. PS4 is finally getting it. And this is kind of some good news because I've been kind of down in the dumps where PS4 is concerned. Just because with the no backwards compatibility deal, I think that's kind of stupid. Just because I have a huge freaking PS3 game collection as far as I like to call it a huge one. Because I don't want to invest in like a thousand games. But you know, I have, I have a decent amount of PS3 games to the point where I don't want to just have them sitting there not being able to play them. So that kind of made me kind of annoyed that there wasn't going to be any backwards compatibility. So this is kind of good news and it kind of makes me a bit more optimistic as far as the PS4 is concerned. I can't wait to hear what else Sony has to announce for us and uh, reveal whatever you want to call it. I can't wait to see the freaking console itself too. And also Microsoft, don't worry, I'm also supporting the Xbox in this new console release uh, on the holiday season. I also want to get into the next topic for today which is Assassin's Creed 4. I know a lot of people uh, that watch my videos are Assassin's Creed fans. Just because a lot of you guys comment in the video saying, why don't you play Assassin's Creed? Play Assassin's Creed. Do you have Assassin's Creed? I don't have it and I don't play it. I played the second one. I sucked at it. Well, I didn't suck at it. I just got bored of it. So um, naturally, I didn't have any interest in it. And that's, I guess, in the long run, I did suck at it. Uh, but if I did have cross game chat at the time, I might have been more, I might have been enjoying it a bit more because then I could play with someone uh, or talk to someone while I'm playing it. And maybe we could like uh, talk while we're playing Assassin's Creed and then they could help me and I could help them. And that would have made it a bit more fun for me. But uh, anyways, Assassin's Creed 4 has been, I think, announced or there's rumors of it. There's an article in the description below if you want to go check it out. It's called Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and it's rumored to come out 
on October 29th of this year, which is really close to the new console release dates also, so I'm not sure if it'll even be worth uh, buying it just because you're buying it and then the new console comes out and then you might have to buy it again if you want to play it on the new console, which is something that I really want cleared up. Will we have to rebuy old games? And I really want to know if that's going to happen. Also, final topic for today is PSN has been giving every one of their customers or their loyal customers, quote unquote, uh, $10 credit to the PlayStation Store and this is something that Microsoft has also been doing uh, to their loyal customers except on a much larger scale to their loyal customers from the beginning of the Xbox's release I don't know how they checked who's loyal or not maybe it's from the date you created your Xbox Live gamer tag but they basically sent uh, their loyal customers new Xboxes which I thought was freaking crazy because I wonder how many people actually bought an Xbox on the day of it of its release maybe like uh, tens of thousands maybe even hundreds of thousands so they sent out a lot of Xboxes as far as I'm concerned as like that's a lot of money so I don't know if uh, everyone got a console but from from my knowledge I think that uh, they did ship out one to everyone who's had the console within the first year of its release again I'm not sure you're gonna have to go do some research and confirm that for yourselves although Sony has been doing it also except on a, a much smaller scale as I said they're giving away ten dollars to all of their loyal customers which kind of sucks because I got the PS4 uh, or PS3 a year later than uh, the release date and I'm hearing people telling me that they got the the, the console like not even a day of not even on like the day of the release or the year of the release or the year after the release and they still got the ten dollars but I didn't get shit yet Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Storm Sunday. If you did, please do leave a like rating. It shows support, and it'll make me want to keep uploading videos for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Clayton the Gamer. Remember to get husky. Also, leave some feedback if you like the new maps, if you don't like them, if you got the $10, because I want to know who got that. Someone did message me on my PlayStation list already, on my friends list, although not too many people other than that person. And one other person has gotten it from my friends list. So again, let me know in the comment section below what do you think. I will see you guys next time with tomorrow's episode of Storytime with Clayton. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Clayton the Gamer. Remember to get husky. Bye-bye.